We're at the Global Conference on Educational Robotics in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is where about 60 teams from around the world come in to compete in the International Botball Tournament. They also present technical papers, uh, we have workshops, we have world-class guest speakers for them. It's almost, if you will, it's almost like a miniature entre entrepreneurial school. Botball gives me hope um, because I'm a well-educated person. I've you know, been working in, in, in these fields for a long time. And there are these kids who come in, see this stuff, and they go wild. Botball is I, I, one of the, the best, if not the best, educational robotics program out there. Bapa is, it's a philosophy, it's a concept, it's a workshop, it's a game, it's, it's just an entire phenomenon. I'm rebuilding the arm. Building an extra arm. First year we did it, oh, just getting out of the starting box. That was enough. We could, we could see the light that, you know, our robot moved. That was it, and they, they all feel accomplishment because of that. We didn't score a lot of points. In fact, we scored very little points the first year that, for several years that we played. But you still had that same sense of satisfaction that, that I did something. Bob Bob focuses on autonomy, which means this is all sensor feedback and then computer programmed, if you will, artificial intelligence. So the students have to pre-think everything, which means they have to understand logic, they have to understand how to write algorithms. This is much more complex than driving a robot with a, with a simple joystick. I'm calibrating the robot so that when the light shines on it again, then it'll start because we're not allowed to touch our robots after a certain amount of time, so we just have to calibrate it and step back. We like building. Yeah. I love like I love being able to like work with the gears and see how everything turns and making like new things out of Legos. I think it's really fun and then to see it work is even cooler. Like I love being able to look at the ro robot and be like, I built that. We start out with the basket because we always knew we wanted to get these. And then we went down to the trap door down yeah. here. The robot tasks usually revolve around sorting or moving objects on a board based on color. And because these are autonomous, you have to use sensors, primarily cameras and reflectance sensors, to sense what color the object is and then do the appropriate task with it. The bubble program gives students the opportunity to work in really two separate areas. So one to me is in the technical area uh, where you're using science, technology, engineering, and math to solve this really cool competition. And then there's the communication side. There's the team building side. It's a social side. Before robotics, I didn't really talk with Nick that much, but then we really became close and we really just figured out how to just help each other out. These kids have it. These kids have the drive and they have the desire and, the, and they have the knowledge. All of a sudden they pop up a senior in high school and they get into a great college because they have phenomenal skills. I'm going to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. I'm currently a fourth year at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. So I'm from Carnegie Mellon University. I actually recently just graduated and now I'm working for the Department of Defense. They also use modern technology. They're, they're programming the robots in the C language, which is fundamental to computer science and programming. Uh, it's very related to every other language uh, in computer science. Popball is student-driven. It's all about the students. There's no right or wrong. There's nobody telling them, this is the way you have to do it. This is the way the textbook says to do it, so you must do it. They experiment and they get outside of the box. Three, two, one. Action! Here we go! Both teams moving very quickly. One of my most favorite things as an educator is getting kids to, de to basically defend their knowledge. And to see students take things that they learn from botball 
and apply it directly to their lives in a, again, a, a, maybe an engineering challenge or go off and then pursue it in college. Everybody wins, and that's what I love. Awesome, so tell us about what your robot's doing right now. Uh, right now, it just womps. We can call it womping with a hammer, basically, and we get tribbles, uh, the green puff balls, and now we're about to get kelp. Bop balls really help me with team building skills and listening to other people, and not just, I'm gonna do this, go away, I'm, I'm doing this. It's helped me out more brains that are thinking about this problem, the better. The great skills they get at the end, they, they don't even know they got them. They come out as leaders. They come out as team workers. They come out as collaborative problem solvers. They come out as innovators. One of my greatest pleasures is to see them coming back and being and starting teams of their own and mentoring teams. Which one will score it first? They're both going for it. Oh, a 10 and down. Bobble teaches you a lot more than just building robots. It gave me leadership skills and the skills to take something that seems nearly impossible, programming a robot to play a game autonomously, and when it finally pays off and your robot works, it's the greatest feeling in the entire world, whether it wins or loses.